Welcome everyone, thanks for joining. I recently placed an order with Puff It Up, grab some more accessories here. Grab some Samsung 25R 18650 batteries, and also some more coils for the uh, side top flow atomizer that I've been trying out here. Uh, these two are new ones here. The first one is a crushed Clapton coil or single. And then I also had to try out the quartz bucket as I've only used the titanium one so far. And last but not least, speaking of the titanium, decided to get a replacement as well. Let's just show you. Been putting a little use on the one that came with it. But still got a little life in there. So I'll be using this one today in the demonstration. I also grabbed a couple of coils for the core, which is also made by the same company as the Psy uh, Crossing. I grabbed the quartz bucket and the triple titanium coil. It's a black, it's like a black titanium coil. So I've been using this on the Wiseman P80 here. On their site, they also have the option of having it with a, another mod. I think it's the Elif e iStick Pro, I believe. But this one's been working pretty well. We're gonna demonstrate today, starting in TC mode, and then we're gonna move on to uh, wattage. So in TC mode, I've been doing about a 24 watt preheat, and we're gonna keep it at 400 degrees here. Hold up some concentrate here. One thing I do like about a mod um, that doesn't just have sesh mode is being able, when I'm putting the dab in, if I have a little left over on my tool, I can do a quick little preheat to remove it. All right. So let's start here on, on TC mode, like I said. I like to pulse it. Not bad for first hit there. It's smooth. Didn't feel like too too warm or anything being at four hundred degrees. Nice. Now, um, as I'm going, sometimes I, I will do a hit and not pulse it, so let's just do that. Alright. So, there's not much left in there. Do a quick little hit and then I'll wipe it out. So another thing I like about an app atomizer and the application like this compared to uh, using some uh, portable dab bricks is while I'm cleaning, I can pulse it by pressing the button, which helps remove some of the material when I'm using a Q-tip. So for this part of the demonstration, I'm gonna do it in wattage mode. And I have it set at 25 watts. I figured if I was doing a preheat at 24 watts and about 400 degrees uh, Fahrenheit in TC mode, uh, doing this at 25 watts and wattage would be okay. I already loaded my dab there. Okay, we're ready to go. Oh, before melting, it's always good before you put the cap on to do a little preheat before. So I got it melting. All right, it's melted. Let's put the cap on. Let's uh, let it rip here. I have the lock on, so I don't have to worry about it bumping up in wattage. That's something I should have done in temperature mode also. Nice. 
guys. I'll show you what that looks like there. You can see in there. So, still got a few hits left there. And we're going to leave it at 25 watts. Cheers. So, I mean, it puts out good clouds. And it's got flavor behind it as well. Might be hard to see in there, but there is still a little bit left. Normally, I've been doing just top airflow, but with this one, I left the bottom open a little bit. But since I left the bottom open a little, I restricted the top a little more. I'm doing like a lot slower draw than I usually do to compensate for that. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Gotta clean this out. And I think that'll do it.